This is, uh, I have to ask you some, some questions that obviously people want to see asked, both from the right and the left, but surmise here for people who don't know, because a lot of people get their information from Facebook and Twitter, and the story uh, was throttled. We tested it, by the way. This is the first time I think I was ever retweeted by the, the president. We tested uh, the New York Post article about your Hunter Biden emails, and it told us that it could not be posted. We have the screenshot available on my Twitter because it violated their uh, their policies. And then it was sort of disseminated, and Jack Dorsey apologized. He'll have to speak before a hearing. So for people who haven't heard yet, this is a bombshell in New York Post. Uh, what is it, if you have to give them the bullet points? Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, what's the implication here? Hunt, 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 Hunter Biden... Uh and Joe Biden are involved in a bribery scheme in, in uh, Ukraine. And Hunter Biden and Joe have for, for years said that Joe knew nothing about Burisma, the company that paid the bribe. Uh, they, he, they, he knew nothing about his dealings in, in, uh, in Ukraine. And what, what there is is a cold, clear uh, group of text messages in which Hunter Biden sets up a meeting to the number two person in that company with Joe Biden. Right. Who then texts Hunter back and thanks him. So it makes Joe a complete liar for the last seven years. It shows that he met with Burisma. Uh, I think he, um, it's not on his public schedule, but we have another one where uh, Hunter oh. Biden was snuck into the back of the State Department. So his meeting with the Deputy Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, isn't recorded because if he right. had the meeting, it would have violated the Foreign Agents Registration Act. So they, they, I mean, there are plenty of um, very, very damning things with regard to Ukraine on the on the hard drive. The main one being that Joe Biden's been lying for seven years about it and knew all about uh, Burisma, as 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 you knew was true. Well, that's what I was going to say. I didn't like, know anything about my son's foreign dealings. How credible is that? Right. The guy is suffering from really massive drug addiction, which the hard drive will make clear. It's hard to get through a, a line of photographs without seeing one of him with a crack pipe sitting in a closet. <laughs> well, he was a fan of Weezer. Sitting in the closet going, going bonkers. He's like, like a zombie. Have you seen Who's the pictures? Who's this guy? Have you seen the pictures of him with the crack pipe? The John Ryder have. Oh, wow. Does he look, does he at least look like cool? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't show him to you right now, but this is the hard drive they're on oh right my there. Gosh. Oh, my word. Well, let me right ask there. you this, uh, oh. Mayor Giuliani. <laughs> How did you get that hard drive? Because this is this is the crux of the New York uh, the New York Post article being throttled uh, right on social media. They said that you've been working with a Russian agent, uh, or that it's entirely it. false. Actually, I got it directly from Putin. <laughs> no, <he laughs> said, me, you are not to going to believe who likes hash pipe. <laughs> Putin sent it to me, and he said, um, um, "I don't even. I even he, actually, he just wanted a couple of bottles of vodka in return." Right. Which wasn't bad. I mean, it cost me about 150 bucks. I sent it to Putin. Right. And um, if you send him something better Hunter than Grey Goose, with, he'll no, show you the heroin it's got Hunter pictures. Hunter Biden there with uh, crack pipes. It's got him there uh, doing an imitation of Anthony Weiner about 50 times. Um, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's got well. some very disturbing things on it that I shouldn't joke about. And uh, yeah, here's how I got it. Uh, Hunter Biden brought his hard drive into a repairman to repair it. The repairman uh, took it. Hunter Biden signed a receipt for it, which I have here, uh, and said he would have to, he was going to come back for it. He, two days later, he came back and gave him a part. And then when it was done, he never came back. According to the agreement, after 90 days, the hard drive is abandoned under the law, mm. and it belongs to the merchant. The merchant held it for another three, four months, and then he heard all this talk on television, and he, and he started to get worried. What do I have here? This could be criminal evidence. Right. So we opened it, he opened it, and he almost fainted. He said, "I never, I never saw anything like this before." The uh, and and if you looked at the if you looked at the photographs, you'd probably come to that conclusion also. But then he took a look at the text, and he saw in the text major contradictions to what the Bidens were saying on television, like like the one I just told you. Right. Biden was saying, I didn't know anything about 
Burisma in Ukraine, and there's plenty of evidence that he can, did. Can, can I ask you a question, Mayor Giuliani? Because, you know, you mentioned Anthony Weiner, and, uh, you know, I sort of came up under Andrew Breitbart. It was, before it was Breitbart, it was Big Hollywood, and, and I was there for the, the Weiner scandal and Acorn and all that. Here's my, my question to you, because obviously you know that the left is going to come out and say, well, this can't be corroborated. That's the basis on which Facebook and Twitter have throttled this story, despite the fact that they were cover, uh, covering stories that were verifiably false regarding Trump calling the troops luck, uh, su- suckers and losers. But how do you um, how do you go about then behind the scenes making sure that New York Post or have you offered any evidence to anyone other than New York Post to corroborate? Because obviously New York Post believes that this is real. They've confirmed it. But is there any way for you to get the media to confirm it behind the scenes so that we don't well, run afoul of I mean, social media or do they not care? If, 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 if they think it's not correct, sue Rupert Murdoch. You, you don't. I mean, he he had it for five days, and they did everything they could to verify it. They're convinced that it's real. Not only that, I internally verified it. Uh, I, I there are there are things on that hard drive that only Hunter Biden would know, because right. those things were given to us by uh, anonymous informants. Dates, for example, that aren't public. Date dates of meetings that were never recorded in the State Department or the White House in order to hide them. And the hard drive comes up with exactly those same dates that could only have been known to Hunter Biden. Uh, His pictures all over it make it pretty clear that it's him. His signature is on the receipt for it. Uh, The gentleman can identify him as Hunter Biden. Uh, And if you read if you read the internal if you read the internal uh, messages, they're quite consistent with what we already know. It describes the transaction of. Describes a transaction in China that I think we all know. It's in Schweiker's book, almost exactly the same as Schweiker does it, except it explains that uh, when the money was transferred, uh, it, the, the Ukraine thing is exactly what the five witnesses told me, all of whom want to come to the United States and testify under oath and are being blocked from coming to the United States. And... Um, I mean, this is really ridiculous. This, I mean, I mean this, this is mammoth, going, obviously. Like, this makes this makes Watergate look like a, a what do we say, this, dwarf, this, dwarf piss this, droplets at this point. It's it's so huge that it almost seems, um, almost for for lack of a better word, it almost it, it almost sounds unbelievable to Americans because they're like, well, this this is so huge, and that's why Twitter and Facebook have decided to throttle it. Which hopefully at this point we understand that this is now a First Amendment issue and not a free speech version of the First Amendment issue, but we're talking about actually the freedom of the press if New York Post is not being allowed to get their material up there. One thing I wanted to make sure, you and you may not know how to explain this because it's more of a tech issue, your story, obviously, or the story, the New York Post story that you've obviously provided information on was not available when we were searching at social media uh, all across platforms. What was, was a story that claimed you or someone who worked with you had photoshopped these files or had fabricated them. So that wasn't considered fake news. That was at the top, and that's not even the claim they're making. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I have my well, tech I'm, guy, I'm Bryce, invite, here. I'm willing to invite, I, I mean, I just invited uh, someone on Fox if they want to come here and look at it. They, uh, they can't take it away, but you can come and look at it. Figure what? out for yourself that it's well, legitimate. I actually have my tech guy, Bryce, here, who explained to me why those articles were false right off the bat. If, if I may, you, and you were saying that there's something yeah, can happen. so ha- it's not super, you know, super definitive, right. but it's just an explanation. Yeah. Uh, given you want to pull up the uh, raster versus vector thing. Okay, so just we'll explain it really quickly because we oh, have yeah, the, so, ma- the, the American so the little mayor. Yeah, so their argument was that the little logo was pixelized and right. all kind of low resolution compared to the text. But uh, that's that's kind of what would happen if you exported an email. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, so I mean, so a vector. So so the little icon is usually like an Apple or a Google type image. Right. And that's probably referencing either a vector or higher resolution images on the server. It's, okay. It sounded like Mayor. Yeah, that's Giuliani exactly what said. happened. Uh, this is this was an older this was an older the original hard drive was older. And he had to put it on newer hard drives. I mean, he can explain it in detail. And and, and, and come on, let's face it. They're not challenging the uh, accuracy of it. Well, they're not anymore. Yeah. Biden's lawyers. In fact, I'll give you something that really verifies it. Uh, the very morning this came out, within about 20 minutes, Hunter Biden's lawyer called the merchant and asked him if he could have the hard drive back. Really? Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah, that well, also we reminds have, me. I need to we, call and, Geek and Squad. We have, the, we have the email evidence of that. Wow. Wow. That so is. So if the lawyer is asking for the hard drive back, 
Yeah. Well, so it, it, it obviously no verifies that it's the heart. Hey, uh, you can leave, Bryce. Yeah, I'm talking no. with America's mayor. I right. apologize for that. He was he okay. overstays his welcome. Um, that is now. Is that is there any record of that? In other words, like the the lawyer reaching out to this man, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there, there's a, he actually did it by uh, telephone and by email. We have the email. Wow. Good look. That's, That's almost as though it insane. makes it worse on them, Mr. <laughs> Giuliani. Oh, yeah, it's the d- dumbest thing a lawyer can do, but who says this part? Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.